you think anything more is necessary to ensure success than moderate abilities and a good share of perseverance? I believe I may lay claim to these, together with a real love of the subjects of study, but in regards to any thorough knowledge of these subjects at present, I fear I am deficient in most. I am afraid I should not, with a good deal of previous study, be able to pass the preliminary exam. Miss Bishy, do you have a moment? Yes, sir. Ms Pesci, I'm afraid we have to decline the processing of your application. Unfortunately, you're not going to be applicable for this scholarship award. But the top two men aren't eligible for the award because they were under second attempt. But women like the stamina to work in this field, you, you drain yourself working to prove what is essentially pointless. I fear I am deficient in most. We slave over our children and men to make sure that they are safe and that they're happy. We cook, we clean, we smile. And, it's, and we don't complain about any of this. So if it's a question of stamina, Professor, I'd argue that women have got more endurance than men. Edith Pesci, you threaten your career and your well-being with this attitude. Only trouble comes to those who challenge the way the world works. You will not receive a scholarship. You will not receive positive attendance for your classes. This discussion ends now. You can let Miss Jex Blake know that her efforts are in vain and it would be better and more honourable if she and the rest of the seven women quietly and discreetly desist in this madness. You're dismissed, Miss Pesci. My dear Edith, it is exciting to see how far we have come and to speculate how far we will go. Already we have taken a great step forward in providing our sex justice. Your humble words are a testament to what we stand for compassionate equality, not conceited rebellion. Let us work hard and graduate with pride for ourselves and our future women. We are not learning to provoke men or to slander their skill. We are primarily learning to aid the sick and to help those in need. To prove our worth amongst harsh patriarchal criticism and vain beliefs and biological differences is the only thing that holds us back. I'm sure that we seven can take on that task. For if we don't, who will? As the Seven of Thebes took on the world, we, Seven of Edinburgh, will take on the man's world and the adversities it presents. We will be great doctors, of that I am sure. You know, Edith, I like the sound of that. The Edinburgh Seven. <laughs>